In our art kit, we're including this hardcover art journal and two professional quality drawing pens. You can decorate and embellish the cover of your book to make it your own with our beautiful art papers that we've made. You can also use your art journal for drawing. We're going to include a prompt that you can use to practice your drawing skills, or you can use your art journal as a scrapbook to keep all of your beautiful gelatin print artwork. Let's decorate our journal cover. You ready to get started? So I've collected all of my jelly print papers that I've been making, all the different colors and patterns, and I have my Mod Podge and my brush and uh, my pair of scissors. So let's decide what kind of decoration that we want on the front. I'm gonna start by making just some lines of color. So I'm gonna select some papers that I like. Now, I think I might want to make roughly torn lines of my paper. So I'm gonna use my fingers to tear the edge. I really, I really like how that yellow line looks there. Maybe I actually will put this one so that it covers up one of the other colors. So I'll start with this one up at the top. I think that looks really beautiful. So to decoupage my paper on my book cover, I'm gonna apply some Mod Podge with my brush. And then I'm gonna stick down my paper and smooth it with my hands. Now this time I'm not painting Mod Podge over the top right away. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit before I put that final coat to get it really nice and flat. Now I'm going to add another stripe here. I wanted my torn lines to cover over that. Doesn't that look really beautiful? It's almost like an alien landscape. And I'm gonna smooth it down. I'm gonna come back and put another layer of Mod Podge over this. But if you have any little corners that are sticking up, you can use your fingers, just like you might be doing paper mache to smooth those edges down if they're trying to come up. Let's find another color. I think maybe some green would be pretty to do next. Maybe this would be a nice green. And again, I really like, I like those torn edges, so I'm not using scissors right now. I have to decide what I want to have on top of this. I think I might just keep it really abstract and do maybe some circles. So here I will stick this down. Now you could make your book cover any way that you like. If you want to cut out letters to spell out your name, uh, you could also make designs, uh, uh, animals or plants. I'm painting a little bit of my Mod Podge over the top there, really sticking down those pieces. Oh, I like this, but it's not quite wide enough. Let me see what else. Oh, I like this one because it has blue and red. Tear in my sedge there. Maybe tear this one straight across. That paper tears really straight. Put my Mod Podge down. Now your paper might get a little wrinkly while you're working on it, but those wrinkles will smooth out. You don't want to get your paper too wet. That's why I'm not putting a whole lot over the top. And I'm going to get one more stripe down at the bottom. Now, of course, you can decorate the other side of your journal after you let the first side dry a bit. Oh, I like that one. Oh, a little bit small. Maybe I'll switch to this. Still a little bit small. What should I choose? Maybe this red. Yeah, I like that one. I'll make sure that I tear it a little up higher because I had a little bit too small of a piece there. Perfect. Now I really like heart shapes, so maybe I will cut out some heart shapes from some contrasting colors and add them over the top of my stripes here. And I need something along the side here too. Let me put, maybe I'll put like one long stripe down this side. 
What should I pick? Oh, that's pretty cool. I think this time I'm gonna use my scissors because I want kind of a crisp line there. Nice. And again, you don't wanna get your paper too wet with this technique. Clip this here. Okay, so let me use my scissors and I'm gonna make some of my favorite heart shapes. I'm just freehand cutting. If you wanna use stencils or use a pencil to draw a shape first, that's a perfectly good way. I'm gonna add these in places where they have a lot of contrast and find a good place. I think up here at the top. And I'm using my fingers there to really smooth that edge down. Yeah, I like this one. Make another heart shape. just with my fingers there. And I think I need one more heart. So let me find something yellow. Find a nice bright yellow in here somewhere. Yeah, that'll do. And I'll make my final heart. I have a real love for art, so I think this is a perfect symbol to put on the cover of my art journal. All right, we're gonna let this sit aside and dry. Make sure all your edges are stuck. Oops. See, if I have one come up like that, I'm gonna put a little bit more down under it. And after it sets aside and dries, we're gonna put another coat of Mod Podge over the top to make sure that it stays really flat. I'm pretty happy with how my book cover turned out. Let me show you what I've been doing with my art journal. I decided that I was gonna to try to draw every day. So I used my journal and my art pens to make some fun drawings every day. Now I'm not finished with this one. Let me show you a little bit about our art pens and how to use them. So our art pens come in different sizes. They have numbers here. The number one is very, very tiny and makes tiny, tiny lines. Like my little spirals, they're tiny, teeny, tiny. And my number five pen has a broader line that you can use for outlining. Now, to care for these pens, you wanna make sure that you don't press down really hard on these pens. It doesn't take much pressure to get a beautiful line. And if you take care of them and don't press too hard with them, they'll last a really long time. So make sure that you not only don't press too hard, but that you put that cap back on that pen when you're done with it and make sure it's really closed. And that way it will not dry up and it will last you a long time. If you have trouble coming up with ideas about what to draw in your journal, we're gonna include some fun drawing prompts for each page. For instance, this one was, draw something that makes you think of water. And this one was, draw a surfing llama. And then another one that I did was, to draw what's on your desk. If you have a desk where you do your homework or you could draw whatever is on your table. So those should be a lot of fun. Uh, and I hope you'll enjoy doing some of those drawing prompts. 
I decided I wanted to incorporate some of my jelly print art into my journal. Let me show you how you can do that. It's really easy. So I found a page that I want to add my artwork to, and I'm going to put my little sun guy in my journal like a scrapbook. So I'm going to use my Mod Podge again, and I'm going to glue them in there just like I did on my book cover. Now you could also use a glue stick for this process. Now to make sure that your pages don't stick together, you want to make sure that your pages stay open while they dry. So you might need to put something heavy on each side so that it can dry flat so that your pages won't stick together. Just another fun way that you can use your journal. There are so many fun ways that you can use your journal, especially using our beautiful jelly print paper. I hope you have a full and exciting winter break. Thank you.